and, and Mark? Zuck? Fuck you. I just want to say it every episode so he knows, but I still haven't forgiven him. God, dude, this is ridiculous. I, I know, but I have to remind I, him. This, this is ridiculous. I, I know that one day he's going to watch all these episodes, and I just want to say, watch the one where I'm jumping in your office. Yeah, that happened in two episodes. Yeah, yeah, I did. So now he, now he really knows. Yeah, and it's going to be crazy when you do gain the ability to if it's jumping or levitating into his window that when that happens um they can't say that you didn't warn him exactly they cannot say that yeah they can say wow um i i i don't i can't believe how uh how cooked the books were man they could say that they could say they could say wow man i didn't know somebody could have so much uh, anger towards Mark Zuckerberg. They could say that. They can't yeah. say they didn't warn Mark to get his act together. Exactly. They cannot say that. Reference this clip. Uh, I I am coming for you, Mark. Uh, this is not a threat, but uh, I'm coming for those books. I'm coming for that information, that data, the data that you steal from people every day, uh, the data that you sell, the people that you're selling right now and not fixing it. I'm coming. Yeah, dude. And I wonder what Mark thinks about all this. I wonder if he uh, has, there's been some sort of covert agency that has uh, infiltrated his uh, his company or his life and if somebody's blackmailing him or if, if somebody bought the, bought the company from him, is doing all this stuff, and they paid him a certain amount of money to become the, to continue to be the face of the company. And then what if Mark is like, dude, I can't do anything about this. I, I, I'm so socially awkward. I don't know what to do around people. And then people, and the, you know, the people blackmailing me. I said, yeah, Mark, keep it up, man. Keep it up because we got we got all the stuff we need, and you just need to keep going. You need to keep going. You need to keep saying that you're owning this company. Go to a barbecue and flip some hamburgers to pretend like you're normal. But uh, do whatever you got to do. Just don't let people know that we're uh, we're pulling the strings behind the scenes. You know. Can I can I at least still uh be flipping these meats? I like my meats. Flipping Man, my meats. It's you know what it is. It's so obvious to people that you're flipping. You never flipped a meat in your life, but that's okay because as long as people are talking about you, they're not talking about me. I have a huge problem with uh socializing. I think and uh, I'm uh, do people eat brisket? I wanted to know for my yes, of meat. course people eat brisket. Meat like that a brisket. The, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Sometimes. You're going to need a smoker. Smoker? And you're also okay. going to need, mm. uh, well, I mean, Sir? Mm. You, you you shouldn't hire a smoker to be your chef. Yes. You need to buy a, sh a, a smoker machine. It's like an it's like an oven. It's like, uh, it's a cooking device. It's cooking a cooking device. Mm. It, yes. It, don't hire smokers. Okay. Very human. Very human. So, this sounds human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it's very human. Okay. Very normal. And then what mm. you tell the people is. Yes. Uh... Hey man, uh, I, I I've been uh, I've been cooking meats my whole life. You know, just do it exactly like this. I've been cooking meats my whole life. I love this. Uh, I just got this new smoker. It's really cool. It cooks it cooks at a, uh, an exact 200 degrees. I leave it in there for 18 hours. I flip it over. Then after I get it out of the smoker, I toss it onto uh, the skillet and I and I sear the edges. Then I use my wagyu wabusabi knife and I sl I slice exact increments into this then i after filleting then I, I place it directly onto this wooden uh cooking board and then i post it onto instagram okay i've uh, i've got all that information i'm downloading it into my i mean i'm remembering it in my brain um i've just kidnapped two people who are gonna act like my friends um oh, so great. it's it's gonna look very normal they're gonna be sitting there i'm gonna talk to the camera pretending like i love these meats yeah and yeah, my yeah. friends have always been there for me and I, I have it all planned out. It's going to okay, look very great. normal, you, very normal. You, you have to have a backstory for your friends. What is the backstory? Um, uh, what's, a, what's a friend uh, backstory? Uh, what's a, uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand what I'm saying. So there has to be a way that you met your friends, and there has to be a reason that you go to barbecues together. There has to be a reason and a, a, a logical pathway that you can uh, describe to people. How, how about if I say... Uh, I I met them 
uh, at my company, and we were friends because uh, one day I was selling some data to a uh, foreign entity, and you cannot tell my it, friends, you cannot mention this at the barbecue. The barbecue is to show people that you are normal human, Mark. But 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 my but my um, these friends, I actually thought that I made a friend yesterday. We uh, we were selling again uh, some data. A robot does not and, count, Mark. A robot does not count. Th he he was kind of real. Uh, the, the algorithm actually knows quite a bit. Uh, I can't even keep up with it some days, you know? <laughs> it's kind of a funny uh, joke Mark, between me uh, Mark, and the robot. Mark, this, we, is, uh, this is how uh, I'm going to stay uh, behind the scenes. I need you to focus. Okay, okay. Nobody I, uh, thinks you're normal. Uh, Nobody. You need to follow the protocols. Okay, okay, okay. Act normal. I'm, I'm Don't mention the algorithm. Okay, okay. Wow, Don't I'm... mention artificial intelligence. Mention real life friends, barbecues, maybe whiskey. A whiskey. Uh, all right. Oh, I, I... Mention things that people are going to gravitate to. Things that people already like. What? What about a? Uh... See, I. I was going on my jet ski because people do that, don't yeah. they? I goes on my jet ski. I think I put on too much sunscreen. You see, I I slipped over my computer and I went all over my face, and I got so mad. But do not I, mention this in the commercial. Do not mention the sunscreen. But I I you see I I think I bought so much because I so much money is coming in. I have to spend it before oh. the. Before the, you know, the, mm, uh, the, the, the F, uh, uh, government, no. Oh. Hey, you need to oh. get it together. Okay, okay. Oh. Get it together. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm getting it to together. We're about to shoot this commercial in the next uh. five minutes, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, the backstory with your friends is you met in college before you blew up. And what that means is that they like you for you. They like Mark because he's a guy's guy. Mark oh. loves to cook meats. He drinks whiskey and he likes to watch football on Sundays. Oh, okay? That's right. They love the Cincinnati Bengals and they love drinking beer. All right. All right. Wait. Uh did you uh is there any is there any uh, you know government agencies around here uh Perhaps uh, somebody from the IRS. Is there anyone? No, around? no, we're uh, clean, dude. No, we're clean. Okay. We're at a secure mm -hmm. location. Okay, okay, okay. We've mm -hmm. we've taken all the precautions. All you need to do is get your wits about you and understand. You got to present yourself fraudulently in order to convince everybody of the fact that you uh, you need to convince them you're normal. Okay, just just right, get it right. together. Mm -hmm. Stop asking so many questions. I, I, Stop I did, pretending like you run this, man. I, I, I did have a question. Um, can we somehow make this uh, double the price? I need to get rid of quite a bit of cash right now. Uh, could we? Uh, could we? Uh, could you call my tax guy and tell him I? Uh, we need to spend double on this and then write it off as a tax tax expense. <clears throat> oh, so sure. We we can uh, we can say we hired twice as many cameramen today. Oh, okay. 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 And. Uh, Rented a lot of expensive equipment. We need to. I uh, understand. I'm all about laundering money, and I'm all about, uh, you know, manipulating people. So don't worry about it. I, I, I have the best minds on this. I have the best ones. Um, Mark, you had a good idea in college, but we know you haven't been running shit for years. So. Uh, I just like that algorithm. I, I mean, I, I get my money. I, uh, <laughs> uh, shut so up nice about the algorithm. It's so nice, though. It's, Mark it makes money. Mark it's money. It's Mark, good. Mm -hmm. we might have to take you out if you don't shut the fuck no, up no, about okay, the algorithm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to a nice restaurant. I don't mean like taking you to PF Chang's. I mean, you know, nobody's gonna hear from you again. Oh, mm -hmm. all right, okay. all right, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, I, I, as long as. As long as just just keep the government, the the mark, uh, gov mark, man. mark. Yes, we have mm -hmm. it covered. Okay, all right. Just keep the government away from me. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We've already fired up the grill for you. Mm -hmm. It's already been cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. All you have mm -hmm. to do is flip the brisket mm -hmm. and act like a man that loves his meats. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Uh, quiet on set. All right, take one. Rolling. Hi, I'm I'm Mark, and 
I cut like mm, Mark. Yes. Listen yes, to me. Mm, okay. Mm. We can't. We can't have somebody stuttering on camera. Okay. Mm, we mm. need somebody to be concise. And again, we love the meats. Okay. We okay. love mm. flipping meats. Uh, meats. Meats. Yes. Meat. Football. Friends. Beer. All this. Mm, mm. Flip. Just get it. Right. Get right to the point. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Quiet on set. Take two. Hello. This is uh, this is Mark. I I like meats. I like brisket. And I, like my friend Bob and Jim, who work with me at my company, we are very good Cut. friends and we make Cut. meat together. Cut. You guys. Okay. Everybody on set's doing great. Thank you for doing the cameras. Thank you, everybody. Um, we. I need. To, I just need to have a private conversation with my star here over over here. Okay. No. Mm. Okay. Yes. Mark. Mark. Yes. I have a lot of a lot of shit writing on this. Okay. Yes. Yes. You sound like a nerd. Uh, d- uh, d- Stop sounding right. like a fucking nerd, okay? Okay. Mm. Stop this. I need you to be a man. All right. All right I need all you right. to be mm. a man. Mm. And, uh, dude, we gotta. You're so you're so pale. I, mm. I, this is fucking. Uh, I can't. I guess there's nothing we can do about that. All right. All right, guys. Ready on set? Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Take three. Hello. This is Mark Cut. Zucker. Jesus Christ, Mark. Listen, this is this is how I talk. Jesus right? listen, Christ, man. Listen, listen, we we got some great. Uh, I uh, you know what? I can get the oh. algorithm to do it. It's gonna be fine. Roll it again. Roll it again. Jesus, man. All right. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Take four. Hello, this is Mark Zuckerberg. I like smoking meats. Meats like briskets with my friend Jim. And John, this is a good company, and although we've had some rocky roads in the past, we promise we are still there for you as the user. This is a great company. Cut. And- Cut. Ah, what, what was wrong with that? Hey, hey, okay, so we're we're getting better. Yeah. Mm, but mm. the one thing that I can't, you cannot talk to the user about being a user. This is oh, this oh, is unacceptable. Mm. I think the algorithm so, is, is messing up stop, its thinking. Yeah. Stop. Mm. Every single person who's watching this commercial needs to think that Mark loves beer on Sundays while watching the Bangles. Okay. Mm, mm. Okay. Mm. Okay? Yes. And don't forget about the process of after you sm- you flip the brisket and you cooked it at 200 degrees for 18 hours, we're just at the end of the 18 hours, okay? So you're going to flip the brisket. It's going to... And after you do that, you're going to take it off of the grill, and then you're going to cut it up and put it on the, the wood block, right? Yes, that sounds very profitable. Oh, my God. I think my brain, it's the algorithm. It's its really taking over. I don't Mark, feel like I'm i am even me anymore. Stop this shit. I can't help it. The, I, the okay. algorithm, it's in my head. It's, oh, God. Okay, and listen, also, uh, we're also going to include, uh, we need to we need to crack down on what, who, who, what are your friends' names? You call them different things. I I don't even know. I don't even know their names. Uh, I, I the algorithm's really. I, okay, I think so I'm having a migraine we're, here. We're gonna call oh. them Bob and Jim, okay? And Bob and Jim. Uh, right. We're gonna mm. get Bob and Jim involved on this take. Okay, okay? all right. We mm. need it to feel like there's interaction between you guys. That sounds very nice. God, my God. All right, here we go. All right, take mm. five, everybody. Hello, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. I like smoking meats on a nice afternoon. Yo, Mark. I like. F- can you uh, toss me a beer, bro? Ah, uh, yeah, man. I got gotcha. you. Thanks. This is uh, me at home. I love my friends. I love smoking meats. I love football and a cold beer on a nice warm day. Yo, the game's about to start. Ah, uh, I'll be right there, man. Okay, thanks, man. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me and watch me in my home. Thank you. Oh God! I don't know what's happening to me. I Jesus it's, Christ, Mark! It's really Mark. taking over my brain. I, it's, uh, I, I, I uh, thought you uh, were smarter than this, uh, man. I knew you were a fucking idiot, but I thought listen, you were smarter than this. Th- there's a crossover in my brain. Jesus I'm tr- I'm injecting, Christ! I'm injecting chips into my brain. Mark, 
I need you to talk about what you do with the meats, man. Oh, oh, it, it needs to be believable. Oh, God. This Mark. is meaningless. This is not anything. This uh, The algorithm is trying Jesus to make profit. Christ. Profit, money, profit, hide from government. Right, make everybody sure we take sell five. data. Take five. Data. Oh, my God. Now I have to clone Mark, dude. This is, this is going to cost billions. Damn it. All right, everybody can go home. Damn it. How am I going to how am I going to get a rapid clone, dude? I ah this is fucking ridiculous. I uh, mm, You know what? I'm going to have to do a lot of plastic surgery on somebody to get through the interim period before we can we can do uh do cloning, man. Damn it. Did somebody say funding? Ah, man. Ah. Uh, Why? Uh, uh, yeah, I need funding, man. This, this is, is my b big introduction. I always wait for these things. Oh yeah, you know, I'm. It's it's kind of a game out there. People are trying to compete. It's me. Uh, guess who it is? It's it's Jeff. It's Jeff Bezos, dude. Oh, oh yeah, look man. it. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, I'll have to sell you uh, Facebook. You know, I'll have to sell you Facebook. Yo, Jeff. We'll buy it. We'll Yo. buy it. I'm I'm trying to take over everything. Did you hear how we bought Whole Foods? I'm going after Target. <laughs> We're buying everything, dude. I'm 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 also selling data. Hey, but Jeff, can you can you settle down a little bit? I'm just bit, so man? excited. It's a new uh, it's a new drug that they prescribed can me you, to keep me alive can you for a hundred years. The fuck down. Oh, I'm just so Jeff, excited. Okay, Jeff. All right, I'm very excited with this deal. This opportunity is so good. Jeff, oh, yes, chill the, the money fuck is gonna out, be so man. good. All right. Oh. So we're gonna we're gonna I'll, I'll give you you know I'll give you a couple billion you know two and. Uh, I'll publicly sell you Facebook. You know, I I still own Facebook, but I know you're you really care about looking like you own all the companies. Okay, I I mm, get it. Mm. I'm gonna sell you Facebook. Uh, I'm gonna sell you Facebook. How does that sound to you? I like it. I like it. It sounds great. Add it to the portfolio under Amazon. There's so much good stuff. You know, I uh, hey, recently someone listen, jumped listen. through my window. Some chill, bastard. Chill the God. fuck out. Chill the fuck out. Hiring a Jeff. hit squad on him. I, hey. I'm, I, I was gonna use the Facebook resources to track him. Uh, Mark, Mark was saying Jeff. that it, what was in it Jeff, for him. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. But for me, yes. Don't don't make me get Elon or somebody else in here. No. Don't make me get somebody else in here. All dude. right, all right, all right. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. So we're, the the one issue that I'm having right now is that we're having. We're having problems with our with the PR department. You know, we were shooting this commercial for Mark because he had a bad public image, and you also you cheated on your wife. What do you? How are we gonna resolve this? No one cares this shit, man. No one gives a shit. I'm I'm Jeff, <laughs> all right, man. I'm Jeff. People don't care. I'm Jeff Bezos. Okay. People still think that I'm pretty cool. Divorce didn't even didn't even scathe me, bro. All right. Listen, I I just I half whatever whatever. You know what? What matters is I got to keep my sweet Amazon shares. And you know what? Those are the best because I ain't paying no taxes on that shit. No, uh-uh. And I need to buy this this nice company, uh, Facebook, because then, you know what I can do? Money, boom, spend. I don't have any money to pay for taxes. Who? I'm, I'm on a roll, man. I'm on a roll. Everything in this brain, oh, it's going so good. Hey, Jeff, actually, uh, I, 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 we don't really need to do that much for your public image at all. But since we had this whole camera set up, can we, uh, we're just going to shoot the commercial, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go. You Roll got, it. You don't even need to know what the script is? No. I got it. All right. All right. Ready on set. Take one. Jeff Bezos. Ready, set. Hey, I'm Jeff Bezos. You like my shit? You buy my shit. Thanks. That's all it needs. What about the, what about the, what about the smoker? Smoker? No, no smoker. We don't smoke beats here. People buy my shit. They like it. All right. That it's simple. It's simple process. They like Amazon. They buy. Boom, boom, boom. Ching, ching, ching. Chong, chong, chong. Hey, We're getting into Jeff, China. Jeff. Speaking of Jeff, the chings and chongs. Jeff. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, I can't even think because you're moving so much. Listen, that's this that's is how ridiculous. I think. <laughs> the, the gears are turning in my head. All right. This is how I made so much money. I hopped this around. Is ridiculous. I made a deal. Uh, I, I'm, hey, I'm quick on my can, feet, quick on thinking. Can someone get Jeff out of here? I'm I can't sell this all right, company all right, to him. All right, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I can't. We'll make sell our this. own Facebook. All right. I'm I'm already making some deals. With, I can't. Uh, I can't do this. With some man. other people. All right. All right. 
I'll, I'll see you guys later. Buy stuff from Amazon. Buy more stuff. Buy more stuff from Whole Foods. Good stuff. That's ah, it. Ah, man. Uh, they're extremely dangerous. One swoop and you can destroy seven men's lives. That sounds about right. That's why we need uh, to arm the children with them, if you ask me. Yeah, and what most people don't know is Seven Men's Lives is a restaurant chain on mostly on the west side of the Mississippi, and they have 600 locations. And and what they don't know is there's this chemical inside of the food, and uh, if uh, if that if that chemical interacts with the scent of a bear, um, it turns into uh, this bacteria that grows out of control. So we need to protect ourselves. I've actually, uh, my company has been specializing in uh, weaponizing it uh, onto the bear claws, and we've also been shipping it to Saudi Arabia. Uh, last week, there was a shipment coming in. It was very good, very profitable. Hey, uh, is Saudi Arabia in Asia, man? Uh, I actually do not know where it is. I should. It's my company. I know that. <laughs> it's very bad for me, but... Uh, I just know we're shipping it out to Saudi Arabia, and I think uh, some country called Taiwan. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I see where you're going with this. Um, can you tell me exactly why you're outsourcing uh, the labor? Can you ex ex explain exactly why? That's, uh, that's very classified. We, uh, we don't talk about uh, what's going on in the company very often uh, with oh, okay. anybody. Uh, we we like to outsource the labor. I will say this because um, there's some children over in other countries, and they like to do work for our company. Oh, they like to do work for your company. Yes. And what a lot of people don't understand is um, it, for these kids that that are living in a sweatshop, it's not all bad for these kids, man. Did you know that? Yes, that's my whole point. Uh, so recently I was looking about uh, procuring uh, a sauna for my house. Yes, we can do that. And, uh, you know, you can build your own sauna out of pallet woods, but it may be, have toxic fumes. Um, but if you're looking to purchase a sauna for uh, recreational use, it's going to cost about $5,000. Indeed. If you want to have more than one human in there. So, if you really think about it, these the people who are running the sweatshops ha are doing a major uh, a service to these children. A major service. These children would never be able to go into a sauna in their, ever, and they're being provided this opportunity for free. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That, that's very nice to hear. Uh, someone yesterday called me a dirty, lying bastard on the street. I was going to uh, testify at Congress, and uh, I just want to know, I, I just want to let you know, that means a lot to me, my company, and the people who throw them, these children, into the sweatshops to work for, for us. Yes, and, and, and uh, you're welcome, sir. I mean, uh, it, people just don't understand this this point. And what I, what I don't understand is, just because you're lying in the street, and the ground is dirty, and that you were born without your father there. I I don't know how they can um, I don't know how they can be calling you mean things like that, man. I, I, it doesn't even seem like an insult to me. You know, it uh, it's always hurt my feelings when they do that, and uh, I I don't like it, and I I always tell them, listen, you better be nice to me, or else. I'm taking it out on the children, which I don't mean literally, and I just want the people out there to know, uh, Congress, uh, everyone, I don't mean that, but uh, don't be mean to me. Yeah, and and, and when you say this, uh, taken out on the children, uh, what people don't realize is you are going to get Chinese takeout for all of the children, and that's just the most heartfelt and amazing thing that anybody could do. Because children from Saudi Arabia, they never, ever get the opportunity to eat Chinese food. And sometimes they don't even get to eat food at all. So, again, you're providing uh, a health and a, a cleansing experience for all these children. And also, you're providing them with, with food and the opportunity to experience diverse cultures. So, uh, I don't even understand how people could even say you're a bad human 
at all. I think you're an amazing human. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, hello, sir. I, I heard a mention of Chinese food. Do you have any Chinese food, sir? Uh, Chinese food? I mean, personally, uh, I can, I, you want to. Do you think you want to go to Panda Express with me, man? That that would be wonderful, sir. I got to get out of here. This is absolutely inappropriate. Uh, oh. I, I, I'm, I, I got to go testify here. Uh, just watch this child. We'll take him back wait, to Malaysia or wherever he's from. Why Why is a child over here? They don't, they don't know what to do in America. Uh, no, and they're not supposed to be over here. I don't know what's happening, uh, but um, my company will investigate this, it. Where did this child come from? He came from a country elsewhere. Uh, I, listen. If you could just babysit him, I'm. I've got. I've got a head do on my hearing. I, I, I've got some corporate I, I money to launder. On, I never sit on children, but 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 uh, I, I'm starting to question your ethics because now you're housing them in your in your home, and I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, this child's been doing sexual acts with you or with your Good family. God. I listen. I I would never touch one of these children. Absolutely filthy, disgusting. I don't know where they've been. These children Awful. are trained masseuses. They don't matter if you touch them. It's about if they touch you, man. Listen, uh, in in the nineties, we may have delivered a shipment to Jeffrey Epstein on the island, but and we didn't kill him. We didn't do it. Hello, sir. Do you have any? Get get in the car. Get in the car. God, so, sorry, I didn't mean to outlash there. You got you. You got to. I gotta I calm down here. I understand. You yes. got to treat your children in a specific way. That's right. They can't be acting out. Um, and I always tell them every day. It's back to Jeff. If you're not careful, Jeffrey, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna get you. Even but he's dead. Spirit, we didn't kill him. The spirit him. of Jeffrey will haunt will haunt them for eternity. Honestly, yes. With, whether they do anything, they they'll be haunted eternally. Um and uh, I, I dude the nineties I mean you can't you can't blame anybody for anything they ever did in the nineties I understand I exactly understand. it was a long time ago and you know we uh just just so everyone knows again I want to repeat it we did not kill Jeffrey we didn't kill him it may seem now like we killed him to cover our tracks possibly for uh, tax purposes and to uh give certain benefits to a number of people I will not say but. Uh, we did not do this. Yes, of course. Yes. Of course. Thank you. Uh, I know you got to get to court because you have uh, 38 lawsuits against you. And um, yeah, uh, let me know how they go. And and, uh, and maybe we could still be friends after, no matter what happens. Absolutely. Sir, you have a new position at the company if you ever want it. Um, that's uh, that's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm, I've made this promise to this kid that we're going to go to Panda Express, so uh, I'll see you later, sir. All righty, all righty. All right, uh, get in the fucking car. Oh, all right, sir. I'm, uh, I'll just, get in I'm the fucking car. Exa- okay, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Yes. All right. I, uh, okay, shut the car door. Hey, uh, so it's going to take about uh, three minutes to get to Panda Express. Uh, can, I, uh, can I ask you a serious question? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Where where did you learn to uh, where did you learn to uh, do do massage on old men? I actually was not one of the masseuses. My my job was to deliver <laughs> the cream. Oil. Oh my, the, the the cream oil. I didn't know what it was for, but they they told me I needed to deliver five boxes, five shipments, and I brought them in. And that's what I did, sir. You were the delivery boy. Okay. Yes. Yes. Did you see any? Uh, were Were you present on the Fight Island? Were you present for? Uh, were you present where they were doing? Uh, in the nineties, were you present as an infant? Uh, no, I was not, sir. But I was told that my mother used to work at that island. Your mother. And from a young age, I was thrown into the sea, and I was picked up by a tugboat. And this, this man, <laughs> sir, my my story. It, <laughs> this I hope is it's hilarious. not funny to you. Well, I don't even. I, I, I don't even believe in tugboats, man. I, I don't even believe in tugboats. You what don't do you, believe what is in... what is that, sir? I, from a young age, I lived on a tugboat. 
okay, this is what I'm you're you're constantly claiming that you didn't do any sexual acts, but you're hanging out on a tugboat. Listen, there was no rub and tug boat. It was just a tug boat. And the tugging The tug the tug the t- I mean, you're on a tugboat. It's you're tugging old men and you know who's out at sea? A bunch of seamen. It was it was actually tugging a bunch of fish, if I must say so myself. And those fish, God, fish are terrible. I, I never terrible e- people. I've never even seen the wiener of a uh, fish ever. Well, you don't want to see one, sir. You don't want to see one. Man, I, 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 I next time I I go to the beach, I'm never going swimming again because of all the the fish semen that's going to be floating around in there. That's right. And the females, really aggressive. How how do how do they? Uh, I never I never seen this before. How, how do they? Uh, how do they provide funds for you? How do they? Uh, how do the fish pay pay you? They they didn't pay me, sir. They didn't. No money. Well, why why would you do it then? I was trapped in a tugboat. Oh yeah. I couldn't get off, and when I jumped into the sea, a factory man. Picked me up oh, and took right. me to Malaysia. That's how you got to Malaysia to work in the factory. But wait, but wait. Uh, how come you couldn't get off on the boat if you're getting the captain of the ship off? You're getting all the fish off. How come you couldn't get off? No, the captain was forced as well. It wasn't just me. The captain was. If he didn't drive the boat, how could terrible you, things? I, I don't understand how you could pleasure so many uh, sea creatures. And uh, for some reason, you would not be able to uh, ejaculate. I don't understand. Well, you see, the sexual gratification of a fish is the sexual gratification of a fish is very complicated. It's not what you think. They like their scales to be rubbed the dorsal fins to be cleaned and that's it but you realize after rubbing so many fish and cleaning them and throwing them back into the ocean you it's it's just not the life to live sir it's not it's not right i understand understand okay we're we're here at the panda express uh get out okay. get out of the door mm-hmm. Okay. Do they have a some traditional Asian cuisine like my homeland has? Uh, it's it's a uh, Americanized Chinese food. Okay. Um. Hello. Well, welcome to Panda Express. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, I like some of that uh, teriyaki chicken. Uh, I'll take some yakisoba and uh, yeah, I'll take the vegetable fried rice. Sir. I, I do not like this food. This is bad food. What is this? This is not Asian hey, uh, cuisine. Hey, hey, little boy, shut the fuck up. This is not. This don't, is not right. Don't don't make me get that factory man back in here. Oh God. Okay, I'll I'll take some of the rice. Some of the rice must be at least somewhat. Uh yeah, you get. Thank good. you so much for uh, coming to Panda Express. Um, we do not sell just rice. What do you mean you don't sell just rice? Like back back in my country, you could you could have as much rice. We do not it's, we do not sell just we do not sell we do not sell only the rice. We do not sell only the rice. Okay. So the, uh, this is just preposterous. I'll I'll take some of the fried vegetables. Do you have any fried vegetables? Look through the glass. There's no fried vegetables here. Oh, how do you how do you run a country without? without what is this? What this, what is this place? This is a uh, Panda Express, okay? Uh, uh, ma- madam, please. Do you, do hey, you have any? Uh, listen, listen. This little boy has been jerking off a bunch of fish. He needs to get some nutrients back into his body. Uh, excuse okay? me, sir. He's been sweating. He's been he's been doing unspeakable things to a bunch of fish. Okay, he needs he needs nutrients. Uh, sir, I. Uh, uh, rubbing the fish is is the correct term in in the fish language, good sir. Oh, right, please. Right. This man has been rubbing a bunch of fish. Okay, rubbing them off. Um. Okay. Um. I can see what I'll see what I can do. 
<laughs> Man, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the squirrel came back in. <laughs> Dude, that was an Australian. I was. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that was. I, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the the Asian woman broke me. <laughs> and I was able to do it for one second. Yeah. <laughs> They can, uh, they're really good at being put in a human, uh, human pyramid. Mm. Um, my sister was a cheerleader. Oh, nice. Yeah. What did she, uh, lead? I think she was at the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, how much? How much for my sister? Yeah. Oh, um, she's already got it. How how much did you guys pay? Oh, like, how much did we pay? Yeah, well, yeah. I think they got her first. I was, uh, I just got picked up like a, a year or two ago, um, when I was like six or seven, um, and yeah, I get to be the the top of the pyramid and stuff, you know. Like, does George W. Bush actually have that voice? I think his voice was either either a. He he morphed that voice uh, from like a team of people who were like, "This is the perfect sound for you, sir." Or he just he just had his voice box just like medically altered oh, to sound like that. And it's not even him controlling his voice box anymore. It's actually Jeff Bezos. Oh no! <laughs> controlling, I'm telling I you, think, he's I controlling think, yeah. the voice box. So whenever you hear like we need, to, <laughs> we need to go to war, it's <laughs> it's just Jeff. He's yeah. in the he's in the other room. Fucking Jeff needs to grow some hair or something because <laughs> he looks like a he looks like a a bowling ball <laughs> that had a baby with a human man. <laughs> Even his eyes look like those the things you put your fingers in. And maybe people are putting their fingers in Jeff Bezos. I don't really know what they're doing with him. That's how he uh, makes so much money. He he started you got to start somewhere. Yeah. I mean, if you want to have a successful business, you have to start somewhere. And if people if that's what you need to do is let people put fingers in you, that's you do you, man. Yeah, you put do you. fingers in your balls sometimes. Um, yeah, and this voice box thing, I mean, that's a great metaphor, but, uh, if you were to be George W. Bush, what would you sound like? I think I would, uh, I'd like to keep the voice box controlled by me. I think that would be a, that would be a nice touch. Um. No, but if you were, if you were George Bush, what would you sound like? What would I sound like? Uh, I, I think I would kind of go for more of a, more, more of a, more of a kind of this kind of tone. I would say hello, everybody. Today, we're going to find some oil and bring it back home, and we're going to sell it for some good money. I, th- I think what you really sound like is uh, somebody that only has three teeth <laughs> and <laughs> smokes meth. <laughs> well, that's, that's the voice that I would choose. If I had to be George Bush and I could sound any way that I wanted to, I... That is that is the you, voice that I would choose. You do not want to sound like you're on meth. <laughs> I think people would vote for that voice. I think they would say that voice sounds so good. They would say it represents no. the core, <laughs> just the core of this country. Just Absolutely the not. It, yeah, it represents <laughs> no. everyone and everyone's I, true feelings. I would probably sound like this if I was trying to. Uh, if I was trying to get people to lack me, um, but I couldn't be president. Maybe I could be, uh, you know, maybe I could be a representative or something, but I would, I'd be able to get past some legislation and stuff like that, but I, I could never be president if I was this guy. Well, what do you, what do you think about, about it? This guy ran for office, huh? Oh Just because I have God, a high voice. That guy that guy absolutely would get murdered in the first two years. Are you saying just because I have a high voice, I can't run for office? I'm going to murder you right now, man. That's illegal. Under the Constitution, you... I'm literally... It's illegal. You're literally dead now, man, because I am 
the all-powerful force, and I have beckoned upon you three rifles. And, oh, God. And I just stabbed you with a, with a bayonet in your, in well, your head. I, I just put some restrictions on the Second Amendment, man. Yeah, sorry, but you're a ghost, man, and uh, ghosts can't change laws. Oh, God damn it. On the next episode of What the Fuck Are We Doing? You will find... I will turn into a major adultophile. And on the next episode of What the Fuck Are We Doing? We will turn into the Titanic. Aw, yeah! And uh, on this episode of What the Fuck Are We Doing? I will tell you this. I've never seen concrete uh, run for president. You've never seen concrete run for president? Uh, no, I haven't. I have not. I'd I'd like to see it happen. I think it's time that uh, we give Concrete a chance. Yeah, I think he has a pretty solid platform that he's running on. Definitely, definitely super solid. And you know, in the beginning stages of the campaign, very uh, very manipulatable. You know, can kind of move. Uh, at the beginning stages of the campaign, definitely. Um, and really harden in on those leveled, positions. It can be leveled out. Um, and it'll be the first gray president we've ever had. That's true. Unless somebody puts a little bit of dye in there. Yeah, if, if they uh, kill... Um, just to kill it, yeah, I guess. I mean, it, it can't be the president if you kill it. Don't kill it. Well, I mean, if you had dye. Yeah, if you had dye, you could kill anything. Because... It's already in that state of being die, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. You don't even have to go through the act of killing. You're just like die. And it, yeah, and I wonder if uh, if you're like if there's ever somebody or a you know there's a challenge that they end on a level playing field. They have the same score, and uh, there's no time remaining. Um, if both. If everyone gets killed, and that's called tie dye. Tie dye, ah, because yeah. they both, both of them at yeah. the same time. Yeah, and there's just something about uh, tying that nobody likes. So, you just add in an extra uh, little rule in the rule book, and it says, if you tie, you will be die. You will die. Tie dye. Dang, I'm I'm scared of tying. That's why I've always been scared because I knew that immediately when when the race was done, someone was going to come out and just be like. Wait, wait, is that a gun? It's just my job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to die. I'm sorry. That's my job. You tied the goddamn race. Why did you die to the race? Your, your shoes untied. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Oh, God. Why? Why would you do this to me? We we're both going to die. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, and what the fuck's going on? Okay. That's what happens when you tie. <laughs> yeah, die. better not tie. Better not elect uh, concrete into office or we're going to... We're going to... Um, we're going to be the sturdiest country in the world. We're never going to move. Man, and this is what I think about that. Yeah. Uh, can you guys, can you guys pass the salt? Because uh, I'm a Ebenezer. And I'm, I, I need the salt. I need Ebenezer, the salt. thank you. Give me Here that. Give me that. Salt. Thanks, salt. Yeah, I'm going to put that. Nobody look at this. Okay, okay, we're looking away. We're looking away. Nobody look at this. Sorry about that. Do you put salt on your uh, crotch often? I'm a doctor. Here's Hello. here's the thing that I need to tell you. I, uh, ah, fuck, I don't want to tell people about this. Tell Any, us, sir. Anybody. So I, I, uh. This is my partner. You John L. Leroy. John L. Leroy. That's hey, your service. Uh, yo, Leroy, uh, hats off to your mom for the name. I bet you do. Hey, coat. Okay, so I had, you ever heard of those elf on the shelves? Uh, the, on the, the shelf on the elf the elves are on the shelf oh yes of course sir mm -hmm. yes uh, okay so I uh my I uh um 
I, I was uh, n- I didn't have the ability to have children, mm. so I uh, I bought an elf on the shelf, and it, he lives in a compartment down here. And the uh, solidarity, correct? And uh, he uh, there's a compartment in here in my uh, innards, and uh, he likes to eat salt. Mm. That's, mm. that's all he can do. And uh, at the end of the day, in return for the salt, he uh, gives me internal pleasures. Mm. Do you have a... It sounds like you have a case of uh, the bad penis, Mm. is what we call it. Well, actually, what I didn't tell you was that the compartment is is my penis. Ooh. Yes. Uh, uh, It's quite interesting. The thing about uh, that is, most people's penis is... uh, Mm. Is a is a one shape, and oh. mine is an elf. Mm. And so imagine he's got two arms. Mm. He's got the ability to uh, blow bubbles. Does he have free will? You know the elf. The thing about the elf is he does have free will, but because of his, uh, the salt is basically to him like uh, you know, it's not exactly like crack cocaine is to uh, you know people on the streets. But, uh, man, that, that man will do anything uh, for some salt. How, how how does this bargaining work? This, oh, oh, shit, is he, is he giving you shit right now? Or, are, are you good? He, yeah, so this guy, he, uh, there's not really a bathroom necessarily for him, and he's got to go kind of bad. Listen, we're going to take some uh, urine samples, uh, so this is the perfect time to do that. I'll give you this shitty uh, life water bottle. Hate them. Bastards. Anyways, if you can just pee in that, uh, we'll run some samples on it, and uh, we'll see what's going on with your uh, elf friend. Where the the fuck did you get this shit? This is... This is worse than trash. This is... This is actually garbage. It's good. I'll pee in it. That's what it deserves. That's why we have people pee in it. We order those bottles, we dump out the water in the sewer, and then we use them for piss. I... I would never use it for that. It's it. I I wouldn't even grace it with my urine. I oh, yes. I, I actually do agree with you. The the patients, on the other hand, I mean, we can just yes, give them the, yes. Well, they're scum, but they're never gonna know. Yes. Yeah. So may, might I ask, sir, d- does the elf have a penile of its own, or or is it itself the penile uh, succumb? Yeah. So the uh, penile. He, he, the pe- the elf has his own penile, and he has uh got he has a he has an ant that he has hired to be his penis. Mm. So it's a penis exception. I see. I, mm. Sir, I have I have urinated into the bottle. All right, all right. Give this to me. Give this yeah. to me. Yeah, you know, I I think you have an infection of some kind. Yeah, it looks like Leroy has, uh, is doing his inspection. Give over that a there. sip. Tell me what you think. Have a cholera <laughs> taste, doesn't it? It's very uh. <coughs> yeah. Pretty bad. Wait, how? It, it's how, bitter than life water, but oh, yes. <laughs> sir. How is it that you guys are able to do uh, inspection using your mouths? Oh. We, we've tasted a lot of piss throughout yes. our uh, practice well, years. Well, we've we've been partners for a while, so as you can imagine, um, why? we're quite uh, um, familiar with. Why family. is it that? Uh, why is it that you're consuming a large quantities of the urine? Why is that? It's the most accurate way to tell yes. what kind of disease and you have. It's uh, we get thirsty, sir, oh. and I'm not going to drink my own urine. So. Oh right, right, because that's unsanitary. That's well, it's unethical. Oh right, right. Uh, because of the, the well, well, I don't want to get into it. Yes, we're not going to drink life water. We don't want to go. Well, no, Gross. we've got we've got cases and cases of life water, <laughs> but we, we we just burn that. So yeah, and it and it, it is an unethical to burn plastic. It is unethical no. to drink. Well, we don't burn the plastic. We burn the water. Oh, burn the water. Very nice. Hey, shut the. F- hey, shut the fuck up. I'm. I think he has some kind of uh, disorder. Is what I was getting. Uh, I, I think he has AIDS. Possibly. I think he's complaining to you. Have you? What? Who have you been? Um, 
doing activities with recently uh sexual activities perhaps yeah i mean she really didn't want me to tell you about this but uh lisa kudrow has uh she's been licking my anus a lot i told you i i told you how did you know i told you it's true what a great observation god i knew it i knew it yeah lisa lisa also has a sister named lisa lampanelli and uh I, that I've been. Uh, she likes to buy jelly donuts, and once they get purchased, I will insert my elf into not the hole, but into the hole in the donut, and and he will consume and uh, erupt inside of the donut. Lisa will then consume the donut. And uh, her excrement that is derived from the jelly donut then will be placed into a jar and then it will be sold at market price for $800. Wow, that's a bit overpriced. Jeez. I know, I know, I know. But nobody else has this... uh, Nobody else has this uh, kind of... uh, Extremities, you know. Have you uh, told your sexual partners about um, the condition that you have? Mm, good question. Well, you know, Lisa and Lisa, they don't ask too many questions. They just know when the little guy goes inside of them, it's like nothing they've ever seen in their lives. It's something that uh, you you can't even describe with words. This guy, he has a way with using his arms to get into the crevices. You know, no penile or even other orifice can uh, can do even anything close to that. So I pride, I pride my little guy. Good job, man. But sometimes he caused me a lot of trouble. Would uh, you ever consider getting him... We have a procedure for little elves, you know, oh, yes. uh, a surgery on the brain, of course. and it'll make him more controllable for oh, you personally. To... Make the little fellow a little more docile. Exactly. A little exactly. phlebotomy, you say? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. But... Uh, except we don't call it that anymore, because, oh, no, you know, the government wouldn't like that. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you can't trust the government. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, look, you know the deal. Uh, the, I just have a little bit of... Uh, I'm having an issue thinking about put turning in my my penile unit for surgery. You know? Oh, you you would get to come too. He would get to come too. Oh, you guys uh, perform uh, fellatio during the surgery? Well, only a little bit. Uh, we have some nurses too. Some, See, uh, yes, very nice. They, yes, very like respectable. Those. Very respectable. Yes. And uh, what it, what other uh, duties does uh, do these uh, nurses have? Well. They they man the spiky thing, and I man the uh, while well, I look at it. Oh, they have the spiky thing. Yes. And what you what you know, because of what I've talked about previously, I'm really talking about a jar with duty inside of it. What kind of duty do they do these women have? Do very, they have very? Are are they uh, do, are they in the market for selling jars of their excrement? Oh yes, absolutely yes. Okay. Well, if uh, if I'm able to advance my business, I'm gonna have to uh, submit myself into the surgery. Yeah. All right. Uh, and uh, we'll be taking some uh, some notes while we do it. Yes. Um, yes. we'd just like you to sign these documents just to make yes. sure that. Oh my god. Just to make sure, please, please, sir. Man, it's, it's I've just, I've uh, heard some pretty bad stories about what happens when you no. sign the documents. But this is just to make sure that there's no uh, th- just there's no, no harm that comes to just our just consider it an. Autograph. Yes. Just, yes. We're big fans of your people. Peep, your, 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 yes. How we're big dare, fans. How dare you call him my pee-pee. A, a big, 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 oh, big, 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 very big, very big. The biggest man. I've ever seen. Oh, very much. Man. Yes. Well, he is one of one. Oh man. Let me know if you have any I, uh, questions. I, I'm not sure about this, man. Uh, what's uh, bothering you? I'm not sure about this. 
I don't know if I can do this to my little man. He'll be nearly the same person, yes. just a little bit. Hey, can I can I have a minute with my guy over here? Oh, yes. Yes, no. yes, yes. Just look away. Okay, okay. Hey, um, how are, how are you doing, little man? Are you okay today? I'm, I know. I know things are going to be different. But I just... I just can't have this be I just can't I can't stay at the city more I'm I'm ready for a change I'm I'm ready alright thank you guys for giving me a moment there no problem anytime okay god where who's writing all these documents man who's writing these we we know a guy we know a guy yes very good. Very good, sir. Mm. Ah. All right. Seems all right. to be the issue, sir. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not feeling so good about this. Oh, there's nothing to worry about, though. I'm feeling what? I'm What's bothering you? What, what is it? What is it? Yes, please, please. The documents. Why are there so many documents for a simple surgery? Well, well there's one for, uh, for you know, yes. there's the cutting open of the, of the member. Yeah. Yes, um... There's the only reason we have so many documents is we we just like documents. It's it's just our thing. See that uh, many yes. many of them many of them likely won't come into play at all. There's the the seventeen pages of death clauses are usually irrelevant. Like is it is it possible that I will die from this surgery? Oh, it's unlikely. I'd say oh. I'd give you better chances than a coin flip of living. Better chances that a coin doesn't land on its side. Mm, very good chances. Exactly. Exactly. I'm very, a, very good chances. I'm a little bit confused by this, but uh, I'll, whatever, dude. I we can I, guarantee that he I, lives. Will Will uh, Will the little man? Uh, will he still be f- uh, fully functional? Well, physically, yes, physically. I, I, all I care about is the physical function. Mentally, we cannot guarantee anything. Oh, I'm I'm completely fine with that. He's He's always asking me for salt and for, you know, you know, salty places. And, you know, a lot of times the salty places are good for me as well. But sometimes they're not. Yes. Sometimes I have to sneak into a meat locker. We've all been there. I have to sneak into a locker and hopefully they have some turkeys. Yes, yes. You know. You know. Oh, this takes me back to the, the old London days with the turkey, etc. You know, uh, that, the roast yeah, beef. You know and, exactly what I'm talking et cetera, about. Yes. Yeah, etc. On and on, so forth. Oh, very much more. Furthermore. Yes, yes. Much, much more. Very good. Yes. We can promise he'll never ask for salt again, unless you want it. Okay, okay. 100% guaranteed. Hey, yes. you guys, Thank you. Thank you. I'm, Thank I'm so happy. Over there. Um, well, yes, we'll get a good. Yes. Uh, and of course, I'll have to go under for the surgery. Oh yes, yes. Uh, we oh, cannot yes. have you awake. Uh, yes, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> All right then, um, I'll be uh, joining the surgery table now. All right, here we go. This is your mic now. That's mine. Okay. All right, okay. here we go. <laughs> uh, this is a little bit intoxicating. I wonder what he's drinking nowadays. <laughs> Scanning screen up. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. All right, uh, nurse, prep the body. Hey, yes. hey, man. All right. Yep. Uh, we can, we need can, to wait, get wait, this can little you, fella. Can, yep. I, can you tell him? Can you tell him that this is for the better? This is what what I need. This. this is for your own he, good. right now he's assuring him that everything will be okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, guys. Him in the jar. Yep. Oh. Yes. No, just relax, sir. Right, just relax. It's going to be fine, all right? All right, all right. Mm. Yes. This is very intoxicating. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, I can't really see what... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about, sir. This is this is usual. Uh, this is regular This is regular uh, yes. stuff oh, happening. This is really good. Yes. <laughs> just put him... Just put him... Uh, no, yeah, no. We'll do. We'll do. Uh, okay, everything's going to be all right. Oh. All right, everything's gonna be, everything's gonna, everything's gonna be. 
Everything is ready for you, sir. You're doing it from the ground again, I see. Yes. Yeah. Would you like the cleaver? Here, I'll give it to you. What you don't realize... What you don't realize is I'm immune to this anesthesia. Oh, no. And well, uh, inside of my urine, I have injected so many dangerous substances that you guys will die in the next 25 minutes. Oh, no. It's so fucking good. We've got, another, we've got another one of these ones. And you have also consumed the urine. I have. Don't forget. I have. I'm the kingpin. Listen, I. Listen, you guys don't even realize how powerful I am, and I lied about the elf penis the whole time. <sighs> that that I was a real elf, but he was never my penis. And Lisa Lampanelli would never poop in a jar, oh. ever. You had me, you had me believing it the entire time. I know. I'm. I'm I, just the best. I'm the best at everything. The business. Seems so real. There was nothing about it that seemed impossible. I, I, but I, I'm, I was already prepping to poop in the jar, though. I, you, you may still poop if you want. Thank you, sir. And this is this is what you guys get if you're one of those people that like to drink urine. There's no chances for you. There's there's no chances for you or anybody you love. So, give up now. Sell all of your organs and ride a horse into the distance. Jump off of a cliff and that will be the best existence that you are capable of. Otherwise, I'd just like to state this. Anybody that also has an elf begging for salt, get him euthanized. There, there is no, there's no place for elf wieners or elf wieners. Anybody, stop, stop doing behaviors like this, and you will, you will be able to survive a, a lengthy existence as a regular person. But if you ever find yourself having an elf wiener, f first do the jelly donut. Have Lisa give Lisa a call, and then you gotta get it extracted in a proper fashion, not with urine drinkers. Do you understand?